Welcome guys, finally I'm back. It's been a while that I didn't film. But finally I'm back. I'm really really happy. Like I had a few stuff that I had to do. So I was kind of busy but those time was a very big message. But I couldn't film. I'm really sorry guys. I'm back. I know like you guys really love football. Like you, lo you love me like you love door to door sports. So I'm back. So that's all. It's Sam. Like I mean Samuel. You can... <laughs> My short name is Sam. So I'm gonna film like talk about you know tomorrow what time is the match or what match is that? Who is the scoring like monster? Who is the big bench? And who is the like dancing boy? And who is like passing boy? Like every kind of football masters you will see tomorrow. Those two teams have their incredible footballers. Like I mean like this is the biggest match maybe this season we are gonna watch. Like we are gonna witness this season. Tomorrow like it will be like I think something special atmosphere in at Santiago Barnabu. Like we know the word is Santiago Barnabu, so we will we will see. So like we know everything about like who is February to it, but still like we need to talk something. I feel like we know Manchester City like they got a like a scoring a monster like Erling Haaland. Like everyone knows him. Even someone is comparing to with Manchester City, like everyone, like mo so many like uh, pundits, even like journalists, they're asking Pep Guardiola, like like ex players, who is best. But you know, like Haaland is just this guy is just absolutely brilliant. Like he got some special like uh, skills, like how to finish, how to score, always box to box. Like this is crazy, like that guy. And we know who is Benzema, like his prime is just maybe when he is 35 years old, that is maybe his prime. Because we have seen last season like what he can do. So no more talk about, let us go. Uh, the match will be tomorrow in Chinese time, I'm in China, so in Chinese time at night 3 a.m. So here will be 10th May. But in European time, I actually don't know, maybe 9 p.m. Maybe, I'm not sure still. So, like, I mean, tomorrow, like, I've been preparing for this match, like, after a uh, withdrawal, like, when Bayern Munich was knocked out. So, I, I, like, I took the decision, I have to film whatever is the, like, what's going on. I, I will not care about those. I have to film because... This is the like biggest mess, okay? So, like you know, like we have we 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 know that last season what happened, like Real Madrid, they like just crushed every Premier League, like three Premier League teams, three yes, and also like they beat PSG to win like 14 Champions League. So that that was like great season for men for Real Madrid. So like. Like I didn't, I didn't expect like they're gonna beat Manchester City, but Real Madrid, they things like UCL is their their own trophy. They just always like feel like that. So like this season is kind of different, Manchester City, but it's not. It's Real Madrid home game. It's still they will get some advantage. Like uh, I mean, like they don't, they have just only one player is long term injured. That's a left back, Farlan Mendy. He is not playing, but they got a good players like as a like switch. They just add the Kamavinga. That guy is like just 20, but he's playing like he is. He got like 30 years. Like his mentality is, I think, like kind of Luka Modric. Like his mentality, he's, he's, he believes himself. He can do whatever he wants. Like he can do everything for his team. So he got that kind of belief on his mind. So which is really best like for any footballer, which is good things. So like yesterday I watched the Jude Bellingham, like when he play, so things like uh, he believes himself, he got a confidence, he got a high temper, he got a high vibes on my on his head, on his mind. So he can score, he can do whatever he wants. So I think Kamavinga like those kind, those kind of boy, just 20 years old, he is doing incredible job. Like believe me, like like everyone knows like what he is like he's really really good like you put him center midfield defense midfield and now he's playing as left back genius 
Okay, so that's all. But the Real Madrid will miss the biggest, like their best center back, you know, it like Militao, Eder Militao. So Anthony Rudiger, perfect. Like Anthony Rudiger had to like prove now what he can do for Real Madrid uh, against like big match, big team, big boy, like monster Haaland. So David Alaba will, will play center back, Dani Carvajal right back. So we know like this kind, these players have some good experience playing playing biggest club like David Alaba, Bayern Munich, and Rudiger Chelsea. Dani Carvajal is playing for Real Madrid for a long time. Thibaut Courtois is playing like the club Athletic Madrid, playing in final, couldn't didn't win. Then he won like he won last season. So playing Chelsea for Chelsea now he's playing for Real Madrid. He's on form like fire. Like I think last season, not just Real Madrid players, the like uh, Benjamin, Vini, Luka, not just. I think Thibaut Courtois had a big role. He played big role last season to win Champions League for Real Madrid. So he's still he is playing like really good. So that's all for their like backside for Real Madrid and midfield, no doubt. Luka Modric. I think Luka Modric, Tony Kroos have to play. I think so many he will not be because of kind of still he didn't get like. I think Carlo Ancelotti, he like he hasn't like those kind of confident that he can put him on big match. I think Pedri Balvarde, Tony Cross, Luka Modric will play in center, like in midfield. They will cover. Uh, so many will be like he will back. Uh, maybe will get right like fresh food on the like after 80 minutes that he can do something like from out outside the box. We have witnessed like in the World Cup. So I think the. I think this this will be happen in my opinion, and also forward line we know that Vinicius is gonna like left wing and Rodrigo Benjama, but I I, I don't know like Marco Asensio that guy is like he's he's really really good like I've been I've been watching him like it's been a while, long time like he has some good skill he can score from outside box like he knows when like needs to shoot when needs when is when you need to pass the ball the perfect way. So he has a good skill, but it all not only just about the players. It will be also play like manager to manager. Like we know, Pep Guardiola, he's uh, like he's he reached uh, ten times in Champions League semi-final, and Carlo Ancelotti he reached nine times. So we will see what happened. But these two managers are really they are they are one of the top top managers. Like you know, like I always acknowledge and I always think like Carlo he's a Don Carlo and Pep we know he is a modern. Like he invented the modern football, like how you can play, how you can discover, how you can create so many formations. This is something like uh, like you can see from every kind of like many managers like him. So he is special. Also Don Carlo is special, like winning trophy, like winning Champions League. Like he has won more Champions League than any manager in the history. So this is, I don't know, maybe I don't know, like it's a mistake or no. But as far as I know, like he has won the more Champions League as a manager, so this is this is different. So I, we know that Manchester City squad, Ali Haaland, he is just buzzing, he is just flying, like he just scored from outside, inside, like oh my god, that guy is just my it's scary, like oh my god, he's just running like like this, you know, he just like he's humble, his hunger, like oh my god, like. Like I have, I have watched like Luis Suarez, like uh, I didn't watch like a lot uh, Ferran Torres, but you know, like I'm, it's like was Robert Lewandowski, but this guy is different. Like oh my god, like I don't know, like I have no words to describe him. Like I, you, you have to just like put an as a like use adjective Haaland. Like if you wanna use adjective like about Haaland, you have to use just one Haaland. Nothing to, can describe him. Like. He's just top top level, like level now. He's a scoring level. And midfield, I think uh, Grealish will play over Foden because Grealish he can he can dribble the ball, he can win the foul, he can even can like pass really good. He's like I think already he has adapted with Ali Haaland. Uh, it's better than Phil Foden. Foden is like wonder kid, like he's a talented kid, like. Pep Guardiola, he said like, he is one of the top player like he has managed, like he has seen, like so. I think uh, Grealish, Pep will, but I, I, you don't know like Pep always thinks too much when there is a big match. Like some Pep played really good match, but he just lost because of some little mistakes. 
I don't know like that's the mistake like I mean when he wants to do something different so that caused the problem for his team like even Bayern Munich Manchester City last few season like we have seen like last season even just like few mistakes not, not one or two mistakes maybe not just like they were like controlling the game they just but you know you lost the game that doesn't matter you but winning is different so who knows Pep, Pep's mentality like what he can, wants to do like uh, last few matches he's playing like three like back line three three two like four one like this kind of so who knows but I think Grealish will play left uh, left right I think Riyad Mahar is the best option but who knows maybe he can like play midfield like many midfielders like Grealish Julian Alvarez even can be on the like starting lineup because he's really really good this kid it just has a good future I think in football like uh we know that Jude Bellingham like we talk about Pedri Vinicius but I really really appreciate like I re- um, I'm just a master with this guy Julian Alvarez he has some crazy skills he can score from outside of the box inside the box hate like this is even good passer like good assist like he is so I think he can even be on the starting lineup who knows Bernardo Silva I think he has to start Kevin De Bruyne, no doubt. So this will be in the midfield, I think, like uh, playing. And defensive midfield, I think John Stones will play a defensive midfield with uh, Rodri. Rodri having like great season, like he has been like incredible, honestly. Like he has some good skill from outside of the box to score, to shoot. And perfectly like the goalkeeper, like uh, goalkeeper doesn't have to do it. Like they're just they can't do anything to stop Rodri's goals. So backline is Nathan AK, I think. Uh, but last match I was like he was up for like an injury. So who knows? Maybe Kai Walker, Aymeric Laporte, Manuel Akanji, and goal. We know that the goal post will be Ederson. So that's all for today. I think like my prediction, like I just talk about like I would, like you know. Manchester City, they play uh, like pass to pass. They have patience. They try to they control the game. They try to know the game. They try to know the opponent. They try to understand like what the opponent is going to play. So like those kind of belief, I like after watching like this kind of games like from Pep, I I I just I have nothing to say. Like I have to put Manchester City ahead of Real Madrid. But when you talk about Champions League, Real Madrid is has a different history, different criteria, different like something like you you never know like what they are gonna do. You have no idea actually what they are gonna bring in the mass on the momentum because they got Luka Modric, like his vision, his like I I, I uh, I'm like I we we talk about Zinedine Zidane, we talk about Iniesta like. I think Luka Modric got something special that, uh, like, if he, I think, like, if he used to play for big countries like, I mean, Brazil, I mean, Argentina, France, England, or like Germany, like, I think everyone like would have been like talk about, oh my God, he is one, he is the like good for midfield, honest, seriously, I mean, like, but, but what he is doing for his country, even for Real Madrid at this stage, at this age, is is different, is really like is exceptional honest i mean like it's really exceptional and tony cross oh my god that guy i mean i mean like he's looking there he's passing this way so yeah like you never know but they got there some good kind of young kids like Frederick valverde i mean like i want i remember the super the copa maybe sorry no uh super the well, i mean i forgot the the final against athletic madrid he ran, he, he ran, like Frederick Balverde ran from midfield to tackle Alvaro Morata and he got to send, he sent off and he's just like, he was, he was happy by doing that. So that kind of like sacrificing for him, like for team, like you cannot get those kind of football easily who sacrifice for the team. Like team player is always very important, like not than individual. So Real Madrid has some good, like they have a, great footballers like Manchester City they are playing the best football right now in the world 
Real Madrid, they just they can win the game any any momentum. Like they need just one momentum, they can beat any team. They have the possibility. But Manchester City will play good football. Believe me, like I feel that's my belief. But who knows? Let's see. But I still like I will put uh, Manchester City ahead of Real Madrid uh, because last season Real Manchester City could have killed the game like at Etihad, but they couldn't. So this season the Santiago Bernabeu is a fast leg. Second leg will be Etihad. So Manchester City had a have good chance. So that's all. And yeah, we will see what happened tomorrow. So thank you for watching. If let me know what you think about tomorrow. Who is gonna win? Who do you got? Manchester City or Corinthians? My big boy. Yeah, let's see. Have a good time.